So you know what he's saying then when he says he made me like it? What he's saying is that, that the original L.A. Mode plays so good that he made him like it just watching it oh, while he lost. Sure, sure. All right, guys, this is for third place. Semifinal match. Okay. And happy birthday, Johnny Kang. <laughs> well, everybody's uh it's also Happy johnny birthday, king's johnny birthday today king. big smile on his face this is for second third place folks well, guaranteed second third wouldn't it be nice for johnny to win this tournament on his birthday yeah it would be great well what's the payout tonight 550 550 nice payout He's going to be kicking at this. Good shot. Oh. That was a bad break. He didn't get by the six. He held the cue ball really nice. And he's just trying to stop the cue ball there and send the one up table and it clipped the six. But, you know, that kind of stuff's going to happen. I mean, he, he played the right shot. Just didn't work out for him. He controlled the cue ball, which was what was really important there. Well, Bo actually has like a strikingly different style than uh, Johnny. Oh, yeah. He's a very uh, careful player. I mean, yeah. he's, he pays a lot of attention to what he's doing. And uh, uh, well, I don't think that's where he wanted to put the cue ball. This is the kind of shot on this table that isn't guaranteed. I mean, on, on, on a normal table, this kind of shot isn't too bad. On this table, you got to hit it pretty good. Like that. <laughs> That's the thing about these tables. If you're playing well, they are very, very playable. But if you're not, then it can be just uh, a nightmare. Good speed. Yeah, he has nice speed. He has a nice smooth stroke. Good looking player. You know, and that's, see that, that's the shot I was talking about. He's putting a little bit of outside English on it. Right. And the balls are sticky, and it throws more than you expect, and he overcut it. Well, yeah, because this 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 pocket does not give any room. You know, no. you can't cheat the pockets here. And when the balls are sticky like this, and they start, you know, throwing like that, it's just really tough. Yeah. That was nice three three rail shape. Yeah, Johnny looks like he's pretty comfortable right now. These guys are pretty evenly matched, but uh, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and pick Johnny on this match. Uh, okay, <laughs> commentator <laughs> curse there. <laughs> yeah, let's not select uh, anybody at this point. Well, you know, it's his birthday. I guess, you know, that's a good point. Yeah, Bo is from Minnesota. He's been here, I don't know. Has he been here a year now? Maybe not a so. year. I maybe think, getting close. I think around that time, like maybe, uh, maybe like eight months to ten months now. Uh, Mike Fieldhammer was here uh, today, too. He knows Bo from... Uh, from Minneapolis. He was up here, you know, he came and tried out uh, 
I think he, he bought into the tournament, played, but uh, he didn't do too well today, and he was sweating a few matches with Bo. I think he's kicking at this. I think he he's going to try to kick it up table and bring the cue ball back towards the end rail. Nope, he was trying to make it. He has been kicking, practicing kicking all day. I've been watching yeah. him. I've been watching him. He was trying to make that ball. When you see somebody hit a ball like that, that kind of speed, he was trying to make it. Absolutely. Well, Johnny's back in it. I'm sure he's quite relieved. Yeah, he got a little bit of a roll there, but well, he missed that seven and 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 just and hooked Bo. So, well, but you know, I mean, uh, I'm sure Bo felt lucky just to get to the table in that situation. Didn't expect Johnny to screw up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's my attitude. If I get to the table, I don't care how bad I'm hooked. If I get a chance, that's good. Right. Bo's not going to be too disappointed to lose that first game. Because the alternative is the guy runs out. Oh. I'd rather be kicking at the ball than watching the guy run out. Mm -hmm. That's true. Absolutely right. Better to say you had a chance than to, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Anytime you get to the table, you got a chance. Bo could have kicked that ball in or, you know, maybe come out uh, and got a roll and come out uh, safe. Mm -hmm. All right. one nothing, Johnny. Race to four. He's been breaking good tonight. Well, look, look at the, where the nine ball is. Yeah, well, he's definitely going to make a play on the nine ball here. You I think, think play the carom. Unless the uh, one four is lined up where you can play the one off the four, which I don't think it is. I think he's playing a billiard shot with the uh, cue ball. He's going to play the cue ball off the one into the nine. Well, I like the one, the, the, you know, shooting the one into the four and making the, using the one as the carom. He, he might play that. We'll see. Uh, looks like he's using the cue ball. Yeah, it looks like he's going to run the cue ball at it. He's, he's, putting some, uh, he's putting some follow on it. You know, that's really the wrong way to play that shot. And, and I say that because we just put English billiards in virtual pool. And I started watching tapes of guys play English billiards, and they do this thing they call a loser, which is really a scores points. I don't want to call a loser, but you you basically billiard the cue ball off an object ball into a pocket, into a, you know, you, and, and and that scores. Mm -hmm. And I watch these guys play, and uh, nice jump. It's amazing how good they are. At, like for an English billiard player, that play with a cue ball into the nine they'd make that like every time i mean it's the simplest thing for those guys because they understand the line the ball's coming off and pool players don't know that you know i mean i don't know that well that's why games like billiards are so helpful yeah that's one of the reasons why the Filipinos play so good. Most of them play billiards. And, uh, you know, Efren Reyes is a world-class billiard player. Which is pretty amazing. Besides being probably the best pool player to ever lived, he's a world-class billiard player, too. Low ball. Okay, I'm sorry. He's playing out in that pocket. That's actually probably a better play. He'll just use the five as a stopper here. Yeah. Johnny's Johnny's in gear. Yeah, he's not thinking a whole lot, which is usually a good thing. Get up, see it, hit it. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Johnny I'm noticing is that uh, he tends to catch a gear late at night. <laughs> Well, he's like a lot of us that doesn't play a lot. And, and uh, you know, if you don't play a lot, you're usually going to be pretty shaky earlier in the day. And, you know, if you make it to this late at night and you've played a lot of matches, you're probably going to be playing a lot better. Yeah, he's, he's hitting it pretty good. He 
might have to use a little bit of kill here. Yep. He used it well. He killed the ball real good. He's on a he's on a very good line right now. He's on a nice thick line, which is really what you want in pool. Well, fortunately for Bo. Uh, well, he's got a couple choices here. I mean, I think he'll just roll up. He could go forward two rails, but I think... Yeah, just force it, and, you mean? Yeah, he could actually even force it across, but... Yeah, he just, yeah, he just rolled up. trickles it in. This just makes... This just puts more work on the run out, though. I mean... Yeah. He, he might be dead straight, actually. Yeah. He's going to put some speed on it. Yeah, that's the thing is, is that just being a little off makes pull a lot harder. And when you're uh, playing on yeah. this kind of table with table, these pockets, I mean... Being a little bit off on this table makes things a lot harder. Yeah, it's a, it's really important to move the cue ball well on this table. It goes, man. Well, he moved the nine ball well, too. Uh, once again, I just want to also thank everybody for coming into the chat room and uh, also welcome uh, back to our chat room again. Tony Torres, the pool boss. Uh, Tony's the uh, general manager up at the uh, Hard Times uh, Billiards in Sacramento. And uh, so I'd also like to just take the time to remind you guys... Uh, that the Chuck Marcoulis uh, Memorial event is happening uh, October 11th through the 15th at Hard Times Billiards in Sacramento, California. Yeah, and it's looking like I'm not going to be able to go. Are you kidding me? Uh, oh, Steve. Man. I was planning on playing the one pocket that, and the nine ball. Wow. Well, I got invited to Hawaii, stay with a buddy in his house. All I gotta do is pay for the plane ticket. It's hard to turn that down. Oh, you were telling me about that. So uh, you're gonna go? You're gonna go to Hawaii, huh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. As much as it pains me to miss that tournament. Well, you know, that's a great tournament. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Hard Times Billiard Sacramento is like, uh, you know, it's just such a good pool hall. Yeah. Well, that's not where he wanted the two, but he's still okay here. He's in a mode where he's not going to duck much. He's, he's hitting it well. I think he's just going to keep firing away here. He's trying to figure out how he's going to get on the three here. Well, swing and a miss. Yep. I'll tell you what, if he would have run out that rack and made it three nothing, that would have uh, been very difficult for Bo to come back. Bo can get this, this uh, game. It's going to be a whole new match. Yeah, Boosty is, Boosty is supposed to be there, and I don't know if Efren is planning on going there. The, the Ginky? W are you asking? Oh, uh, Turning Stone was won uh, by... Uh, no, not Raj. He came in fifth. Mike DeShane. Okay, you guys are uh, giving me a hard time in the chat room, man. Come on. <laughs> it's late. I've been up a long time. All right. I don't want to get into competition now. That's nicely played there. Good speed, nice lines.
This shot's a little touchy, mainly just because he's jacked up over the six ball. Yeah. And the problem there is, you know, this is the kind of shot you want to spin with English off the rail down table more than draw, and that makes it a lot harder to pocket when you're using English and you're jacked up. Well, it looks like he's got a spot he can cue where he's maybe not going to be over the six. Well, he doesn't definitely doesn't want to hit the, the knuckle of that side pocket, you know? He doesn't want to get... Yeah, well, that's all he needs to put some English on and spin it, because if you just try to draw it... Oh, yep. There it is. Is that is that is the humidity again. Yeah, he overcut that. I mean, he hit it good, but... Uh, Good looking stroke. I mean, that was that was uh, you know that was really well stroked. Just didn't go in the hole. I gotta figure he's gonna try to play this rail first. I think the big issue here is getting by the six ball. Which he did, very nicely played. All right, just simple, just slide up for the six, seven, and then uh, nine. This is Jin. Johnny's not happy with the shape. He's now gonna have to stun this and play for the... Uh, eh, yeah, he may go uh, up and down the, the table. Pocket. I'm not sure what he's gonna do. Uh, it's. <laughs> I think he's going to go up and down the table. Yeah, yeah under hit it a touch, but that's fine. Oh, actually, I think it rolled out perfect. Three zero. Yeah, I think Bo's bumming. Uh, you know. Johnny's played well, though. I, I mean, uh, Bo, Bo hasn't really done anything terribly bad, and he's down three, nothing. Oh, uh, really? With Johnny? With, with the winner, I mean? Yeah, but Johnny's not going to want to split on his birthday, is he? He might, I don't know, but uh, okay, just a heads up, everybody, uh, Nick Spano uh, is trying to, I'm thinking he's trying to negotiate a split uh, for first place. I mean, tomorrow's Labor Day, nobody's got to work. Let's see some pool. Get Nick, o get Nick over here. A force play? Force play, that's what I mean. Make them play, right? <laughs> Our tournament director is a funny girl. Tony wow. Torres just saying happy birthday to Johnny Kang. Uh, now, this is an interesting push, and I think this is a really good push in this situation. You know, Bo has missed a couple balls, you know, push out to, you know, a shot that you really would want to shoot. On this table, it's uh, no guarantee you're going to make this. And, uh, you know, especially at this angle, you know, the speed is tricky on it. I, If I was Bo, I'd be passing this back to Johnny or ducking. I wouldn't shoot this. He's, 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 this is just exhausting him, you know. It's yeah. like 3-0. And you don't want to have to come to the table in a situation like this. Well, you know? this is a tough ball to duck on, you know. I, I I don't see an easy safety. If I was him, I'd be passing this back, let Johnny shoot it. I, you know, Johnny might make it, but, you know, I, it's... See what he does there. He's looking at he's looking at ducking here. I think he's looking at trying to get the four ball as a blocker. Yep, that's what he's doing. Good play. Well, well done. That was a good safety. 
Well, the, the best part about it is that with that nine ball there, the no easy kick here. he's going to try to jump this or what he's doing. He wouldn't got a different cue. I think he's maybe thinking the jump if he can hit this two ball right. Well, he's looking like know. he's going to kick the edge kick. of it. He's uh, kicking. He's kicking. Nice shot. Yeah, but he leaves the two ball out in, uh, out in the open. Yeah. Uh, know. You know, just hitting that wasn't that easy. But yeah, I mean, this is not a didn't turn out to be a productive play. Unless Bo hangs another ball. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Bo's not going to try to hang anything right now. Yeah, you know, this ball he doesn't need to spin. He can just hit this with straight draw, just a little bit of draw, just slide the ball over some. Uh, you know, I thought he'd try to slide it on the other side of the three. He decided to go forward and missed it. You know, I got to tell you, Bo, Bo was on the hill against Nick Spano. Four, four games to three. And he missed an eight ball against Nick. And Nick came back to beat him, and you know what? Bo's not been the same since. And you know what? He's making the very wise decision to take yeah. a break right now. Yep. Try to get himself together. He's This table's got him a little bit spooked. And Marie Lim says hi to Tony Torres, and my headset's being removed. I want to say good evening to everyone, and thank you for watching POV Pool and supporting what they do with this free live stream. And you have to buy Steve Chaplin's Virtual Pool 4. It's very recommended. <laughs> very. The capital V. Thank you, Murray. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. And she also says hi to Tony. Well, we're in a break right now. Bo decided to uh, take a break. Probably a good idea since he's missed the uh, only three balls he's got a chance to shoot at this set. And he's currently down 3 nothing in a race to four. So uh, while we're just taking this short break, I uh, definitely want to thank everybody for coming on the stream. And uh, I want to thank, I definitely want to thank Eddie Oregwin, owner of Hard Times Billiards here in Bellflower, for, uh, you know, providing me with the opportunity every week to come down and stream these events. And also to my sponsor, well, one of my best and biggest sponsors, John Bertone of Kamui Tips. And... Also, like to thank uh, all the commentators today. As usual, the BBQ, Barbara Lee, uh, Steve Chaplin for coming in, Patrick Kim, uh, Bo Runningen, Dave Hemma sat down a little bit today. Sam Kim sat down today, and uh, uh, Truman. Uh, who else was here? Just trying to remember now. Zeke Morrison came and uh, did a little bit of commentating today. So it's always, uh, you know, without all these people stepping in and kind of like uh, sharing their their uh, knowledge of the game while these matches are going on, it makes it easier for me to play these events too. So, 
Uh, I'm glad to have the opportunity to play them myself. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I'm sure he's ducking here. I'm not sure. I can't see the angle exactly on that two ball, but it looks like he's got a play to maybe try to thin it and roll the cue ball up behind the eight ball. Well, Bo wants to win. You know, he still wants to win. And, you know, that's you got you to gotta really tip your hat to somebody like that who's down. Sure, never say die. Basically, his opponent being on the hill. The tricky thing about this is if, if you can't hit it really thin and get it behind the eight and you got to take a little more of the two, th then the two pops out. So this, you know, the angle's got to be right to play this shot. He might be able to roll it off the nine and get it behind the eight too. That's another way to play this. That's what he's trying to do. All right, he's going straight behind it. Very nicely played. Not very well played. Now see that, what, you know, where that two ball was, he had to take enough of that two ball that it popped out there. So, you know, he doesn't get behind the eight and he leaves a shot. Yeah, very well played. I'm interested to see how Johnny hits this. He may hit this hard. <laughs> it's true. Johnny Kang's uh, got a tie printed on his T-shirt. <laughs> So he's uh, he's following the dress, the P the, the hard times dress code. Wow, what a nice kick! This is just this is I mean this is he's yeah. making this real hard for Bo to get anywhere. Well, you know, I mean, he made a good kick and he came out good. I I mean that that wasn't the kind of shot you can really control. He just hit it and got a roll. I'm not sure the bow can see the edge of this ball. Uh, if he can, he might shoot it. We have ourselves a safety battle happening right now. That's the way it looks. Bow running in three games behind. You think he can John see the King. edge of this two ball? Oh yeah, he can see. He can see more than the more than just the paint. He, he well, might if he can see, see the see edge, bank. if he can see, oh, I meant the edge where he can shoot it in this corner pocket. Oh no, he, I no, he can't see that. Yeah, then he's he's gonna duck. I don't think he's shooting this bank. Trying to shoot banks on these tables, that's a quick way to lose a match. I mean, maybe the side pockets. This kind of bank in the corner. You're just asking for it shooting this. I think he's looking to looking to duck here. And he's looking to spin the. He's going to spin this thing. So you think, he, you think he might be trying to use, like the four ball? Yeah, this is a little touchy because you're hitting it with English, but it's going to draw, so the ball curves. It's a little touchy. Oh, the nine ball. Uh, he was trying to get him on a four. That's, you know, that's not a bad play. It's just really hard to control the, the speed and both balls when the, the cue balls curving that much well he's not happy he's clearly not happy with it um, but well, he not. has created some distance uh, so so Johnny's now really taking some time to think about this he's not happy because when you play good players just distance doesn't it work doesn't do it yeah I mean you've got you know because good players they're gonna you know they're gonna try to to lock you up, or they're going to try to to snooker you. So any kind of play that just is distance isn't that strong a play against a a good player. Oh, who is that? Who's your Foch? That's Foch. Hustler Foch. Well, thanks, Foch. Giving you a compliment in the chat room, telling telling us that. Uh, hey, Foch, I, I, I actually made it to. Uh, I actually took fifth, sixth today, which is uh, pretty amazing. 
I got lucky. <laughs> It's going uh, in. It's going uh, in. You know that. He was playing safe there. That. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And that just rolled up right in the pocket. Okay. The uh, payouts for the event tonight are going to be. Uh, that's a little straighter than he wanted, but he's fine. 5.35 for first. 3.15 for second. And 1.95 for third. 140 for fourth. And then it goes down from uh, that Let's to do 85. That. And then 60. Well, Johnny uh, just gave Bo a chance. Could have closed him out right there. Yeah, what I missed there. Oh, he just missed. He just missed the three ball. Well, he got a little Almost. straight on the three ball. Need it. Tried to hit it. You know, was trying to hit a little harder and get the cue ball off the rail, and he overcut it. Interesting. He looks like he wants to stop the cue ball for a shot in the four on the side. I think he's 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 which. Going forward. Yeah, there you go. Going a round table, I would prefer that. Oh, he might. Well, he looks pretty straight on the floor here. Yeah, he's going to have to draw this back. I'm, I'm sure he wanted a little angle, but he's still okay. This guy's got a nice stroke. I expect to just see some sweet, smooth butter stroke and the cue ball come right back. going to draw hard and come off the rail. Whoa. Yeah, he had a little bit angle. He forced it over. Huge spin there. Didn't quite get there. He's uh, okay other than the fact that he's got a stretch. And, and, you know, again, on this table, just any kind of stretching or any kind of bridge activity is a lot harder. Yeah, it looks like he's looks like he's able to get over there where he's probably not too bad on this. Well, you know how it is when you. I, I don't know if the five is frozen, but uh, I think I think he's gonna have to bring the cue he, ball he up may, and down. You he, know. He may try to run into six. Oh. 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 Oh, I just think I th you know what I think this is just turning out to be too much work for him right now. You know, uh, you know this table is so tough, and you know, I, the, it's playing sticky, putting inside on it, real easy to hit it heavy. Because you're just being, <laughs> you're just being. He overcut it. He, yeah, he hit in the thin side of the pocket. Uh, getting a little uh, this angle on the seven where the eight is just made this a little tougher. He's either got a short sided or looks like he's going to try to draw it and spin it off the rail. Thanks, Spanky. That was pretty good. Uh, so if you didn't hear me, I just want to thank, uh, I want to welcome you. Uh, Bob Bolio back to the chat room. Uh, it's his second time here today. And also Len Lenny Marshall, who's uh, jumped onto the stream. Fast Lenny Marshall. Thanks for coming on. Nice to see you guys. 
That was an interesting shot. I think a lot of players would have gone uh, forward on that shot, put the cue ball in that spot. Johnny chose to draw it. Wow. Wow. I think he was overextended there. Uh... Yeah, he rolled up good. It's his birthday. Aren't you supposed to get rolls on your birthday? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are. might have a bank shot on this eight, or he might be looking to duck. I think he's shooting a bank shot. Yep. That's not a bad play, because, you know, he's leaving the cue ball on the rail where he's got a shot on the nine, and if he misses the eight, unless it hangs up in the pocket, it's, it's pretty tough. Now, if this was me shooting this, I'd play safe. I'd thin the eight into the rail and put it on the end rail because this is a tough shot to make. What was like Johnny? You're absolutely right. I, I prefer that shot because it's a lot. It's pretty easy to maneuver the this, cue behind this, the nine. It's not. It's not that tough a safety. This is a hard shot. He's jacking up and he wants to stroke uh, it in. And I'm telling you, he just feels like a rock star right now. I guess. I mean, I would never shoot this. Of course. Well, you would never. Make I wouldn't it. make it like that either. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of a shot. <laughs> you just never make it, Steve. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's why, that's why never I never shoot, shoot it. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can hit it like that, uh, that was one hell of a shot. Well, that's Johnny Kang. Johnny is like the only guy that can just do that consistently. Uh, oh, my God. Couldn't close out the deal. Couldn't close out the deal, he said. Well, uh, hopefully he's going to have three more chances to... See, that's why you play safe on that, because then if you miss the oh, nine, yeah. you feel Come really on. bad. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Johnny Kang's birthday today. That's why he's uh, shooting, making all the hard shots. All right, now the big question is, is Bo going to make a ball in this set? I mean, this, oh, this right. is his chance. It's easy up on the guy. Come on, he's gotten this far. He's done really well. Oh, he's played well. Win he's... or lose, Bo is definitely worthy of uh, Oh, yeah. I'm not saying he's a bad player. Congratulations. It's, it's just he's, he's had a tough set, and Johnny's got all the rolls, and Johnny's played good. And, you know, the balls Bo's missed, they rattled in the pocket. It's I, I expect him to make this one. He's just he's Bo's just struggling. Out. He may be tired. I mean, you know, it's late. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. You know, you know he, and you know what? He doesn't play every day. He's not. He doesn't no. play every day. He's married. He's got. Everybody, everybody's allowed to have a bad match. Happy birthday, Johnny! Makes it to the finals, and uh, I guess what I, I guess what we're gonna witness right now is a negotiation between. Him and Nick Spano. In fact, that's exactly what's happening. Uh, no, Marie's going to give Bo the money. Third place. All right, good tournament, Bo. Third place. Here comes Nick Spano. Chop, chop. So. It's Johnny King's birthday. It's Labor Day, brother. I know. All right, I think we have a split going on here. Johnny King is undoing his cue. All right, it's going to be a chop chop, guys. Uh, Johnny and Nick are chopping it. And uh, I'm really sorry to say this to you guys, but, uh, you know, that's going to be it. That's the last match. 
yeah. Nick has a long drive home and uh, he says he's got to work tomorrow I don't believe him it's Labor Day man no I, I believe him I believe him but um, that's going to do it it's been a wonderful day of streaming and uh, for the most part most of these matches will be uploaded to YouTube within a few days just be patient you know I've been very busy with other stuff too, so I'm trying to, you know, trying to get the stuff done. But uh, all in good time. This is why we watch it live, so that we can see it. So I want to thank uh, everybody for uh, joining us today on POV Pool. Thank you, Steve Chaplin, for uh, thank you, Daniel, Glad commentating to be here. with me. Nick Spano and Johnny Kang, Chop Choppy. So three hundred and fifteen dollars plus what five thirty five or something like that. Yeah, that's a nice split. That's a nice split, and yeah. you know it's going to be like what eight hundred and sixty all together. I got to put my tip jar a little closer to them. Johnny just gave himself a birthday present. Yeah, Johnny just yeah Johnny got a birthday present. So a lot of work for it. Yeah. So that's going to do it, guys. Really appreciate it. And I hope everybody had fun today. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the camera onto a table real quick, take a little break, and then I'm going to break it down. So thanks a lot for watching POV Pool again. Hope you guys have a good night. And we'll see you next week, hopefully. Bye-bye.